football season has rolled into the fall months, but that doesn't mean our warm weather is completely through. I'm here to talk to an athletic trainer about the dangers of this heat for athletes and why it's just as important to stay prepared. Yeah, so at Christus we have um, 32 athletic trainers who on any given Friday are out in roughly 16 different football games in the greater Tyler area. Carson Powell is the sports medicine coordinator at Christus Trinity Mother Francis. He says that having a presence at these games is very important to the safety of these athletes given the conditions. It can be dangerous. We've all seen it in the last month or so, just how hot it is. Um, if we don't take it seriously, dangerous things, serious medical issues can happen. And um, especially in the sports world, especially in football where people are, um, they're wearing pads, they're out in the, in the late afternoon when it's really, really hot. And while the official start of fall is late September, that doesn't always mean it feels like it right away. Powell says that we're starting to approach the time where heat becomes less daunting. However, even as we get closer to the cooler months, you can never let your guard down completely. The heat may not be in the triple digits, but it still doesn't take long to become dehydrated. In Texas, for sure, basically October is when I think everybody can kind of relax a little bit about the heat. I mean, them being outside, I mean, they're still working extremely hard, still sweating a ton, even when it's cooler temperatures out there. So pushing hydration all season long is key for their performance and for their health. Well, we're back in the heat of East Texas football, and I mean that literally. On a day where the air temperature is only in the low 90s, just look at how hot the field can get. So you can imagine just how hot it gets for everyone in attendance at these games. From the sidelines, we've got the cheerleaders all the way up to the band and even all the fans in the stands. And how about those football players playing a full four quarters out in the heat with shoulder pads, their helmets on, and I mean, you just saw how hot that turf can get. But what about the one that many might not think about when it comes to heat safety at games? The mascot. Did you know the air temperature inside a mascot suit can get 30 degrees hotter than the outside air temperature? I decided to test out being a mascot myself to see how crucial it is to prepare for these conditions. For the game, I've got to make sure I stay hydrated throughout the day and just drinking plenty of water, staying cooled off. Sarah Mendez is the real Lindale High School Eagle. She's out there every Friday night firing up the crowd regardless of the heat. All I gotta say is that it's fun and I love doing it. And you've really gotta love it to do it. It's equivalent to wearing a multiple piece snowsuit with little to no airflow. And yes, I experienced firsthand that it doesn't take long to feel those effects. Only 20 minutes in and you can definitely tell why heat safety is so important for your mascots especially right now when it's like Texas heat, it's really hot outside. So whenever I get like hot or like my head starts hurting, like I have my manager and we go to take my breaks so I can cool off, breathe, drink water. So when you're out at the game this Friday supporting your team, don't forget to show your mascot some appreciation too. For CBS 19, I'm Savannah Hale. I think I was born to be a mascot. It's early October and that means a new long range cycle will be setting up soon. Every year between the beginning of October and the middle of November, we see a new weather pattern develop and then that weather pattern begins to cycle. We call that the long range cycling weather pattern. For instance, one of these storms that we see out here in the West, when we can identify when that storm will repeat within the weather pattern, we know we have the cycle and that helps us predict weather as we head into winter. Of course, it's just beginning, so we really don't know exactly how things are going to set up, but we do know that there is an El Nino advisory, and we do know that El Nino shifts weather patterns across the northern hemisphere, and for the southern plains and central plains, that means rainier weather. So looking at that, and looking at climatology, we can tell that our Halloween has a higher chance than average for rainfall. Temperatures should be in the low 70s with an east wind. For Thanksgiving, taking into account El Nino and climatology, the Thanksgiving outlook should give us a chance for rain late in November and cooler temperatures right around 65 degrees. Of course, when the LRC gets set up, we'll be able to predict winter and we'll have that forecast coming up as the months go on. This CBS 19 weather special is sponsored by Stonewater Roofing and Gas and Supply.